Yo, what's going on? It's everyone. Welcome back to another story time video. If I sound a little weird, I'm congested as shit right now. I'm fucking up a hole's mint, but I've been congested since this morning, so I can barely pronounce my R's. So, yeah, excuse me. But this actually happened last night, and I was gonna record it yesterday, but it was my brother's birthday. I got home around like 8 o'clock because of this, and I was tired of shit, so I just saved it for today. And sorry for the skipping another upload. I gotta get back on that, but I don't know why. Some days I just don't have the energy to re really record. Not saying I don't like it, I, I fucking love this. It's just a thing about like, I sound really tired and you can hear it and it's just not gonna be entertaining or good quality. I say that, but you can probably hear my AC blasting in the background as we speak. So excuse my many downfalls, but if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to leave me a like, comment, sub, it's always appreciated. Turn the notice bell, 16 when I upload next, and link in the description for the Discord. Join up, send us any story chat or start a conversation in general. You know what to do. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So it started off as a normal day, like nothing really interesting was happening other than it being my brother's birthday. And he's 20 now, which is kind of crazy how fast the time flies, but he has a girlfriend, so he's going to spend it with her. But my mom being my mom was like, you know what, I might as well give him something, then he'll be on his way. So she had this plan where originally she was going to take a box, put money in it, tape it together like a line of cash, and then when you lift up the box, balloons fly out, and then the money goes up in the air like a, like a rope. And it was a really good idea. Execution? Not so much, but we don't talk about that. So she told me to go to the store and get balloons, which is, you know, obvious. We need the balloons with helium to make the shit go up. Walgreens, it's not a vibe though. I'm not spending $13 on a balloon with helium. So I was like, you know what? Might as well go to the Dollar Tree. And I went to the dollar store, you know, just normal things. I got like $20 on me. I'm going to get like two, three balloons and come back. But this kid at the store had other plans. Now, let me tell you about that. Because I walk in and the first thing I see is this kid arguing with one of the store workers. And he's cursing out the store worker. And I don't know what happened. I mean, I just walked in a store, but I'm just trying to walk by without starting shit. So I say excuse me like six times, he didn't listen, so I just kind of, you know, shimmy my way through, get past, and they're still arguing. So now I'm standing here like an immigrant at the DMV, like I just gotta sit there and wait until something happens, and I, I'm just enjoying the view at this point. These two kids that were there at the store, they were trying to buy something, he, he looked at me, dead ass a foot away from like the six foot, he was he was really lanky, the dude that was trying to start an argument, I'm not even gonna lie to you, he was like six foot three, 110 pounds, like... He, he was bony, but this like 10 year old looks at me a foot away from the dude, looks him in the eyes, looks at me and goes, hey man, daps me up and says, enjoy the show. Hands down the ballsiest kid I've seen in a minute. So these two are arguing, the worker is spewing back insults at this kid. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. That's why your mother licked my balls last night. Oh yeah, you thinking about balls, faggot. I know you are, faggot. Yeah, you a faggot. Bro, this was this was the the funniest shit ever. And the kid obviously had something wrong with him. I'm not going to like disrespect him or clown on him for having mental problems, but he it was obvious. And I and I was just trying not to make eye contact, honestly. I didn't want to awaken a fucking inner beast or some shit. He looked like one of them kids that were like in the middle of a lunchroom, take a Yu-Gi-Oh card, hold it with three fingers, go, "I challenge you to a duel." But the thing about these kids is that they have no fear and no sense of self-preservation. So they'll do whatever the fuck it takes to win the fight, alright? So after like 5-10 minutes of squabbling, I already made popcorn. I mean, I'm sitting down in my recliner. I'm just sitting here enjoying the show. I'm just waiting for someone to pop off because this kid kept like trying to fake him out with like flinches and shit. But it obviously wasn't, he, he wasn't going to do anything. It was completely obvious. But he was just trying to scare the dude. So after like 10-15 minutes of squabbling back and forth, this kid takes a pool noodle, like the plastic squirt tubes, that you suck up water, and then you push up the tube and water goes flying out, the ones you use at a pool. Well that's obvious, I'm stupid. But he takes one of those and tries to hit him with a fake swing, like, like a fake out swing is what I meant to say. So he picks up the pool noodle, swings it at him, but since you know it's a dollar store pool noodle, it snaps in half just from the wind pressure of being swung. He swung it at the dude, it folded backwards, almost hit him in the eye, and then he just threw it to the back of the store. And then the dude finally got serious. The worker, he got serious, and he was like, all right, listen, what you gonna do then? Hit me. I dare you. This full-grown man told a child, I double-dog dare you. I'm saying it like this fucking 40-year-old trucker is trying to swing on a 90-year-old. No, it, it, this dude was like five foot two, like yeah, 200 pounds. He, was, he looked like a short Mexican dad. He was Mexican, which this sounds really racist, but hey, I'm Hispanic. It, it, it doesn't count. Let me not get canceled, but what I'm trying to say is this kid was really fucking big. He was like in high school trying to start shit with this adult, and obviously, if something did happen, the adult would have gotten in trouble, but it was reasonable. So then this kid starts cursing at him and then slowly backing his way out of the store and taking shit down with him, you know, throwing stuff back and forth, throwing stuff on the floor. He, he's being a child, doing unnecessary shit, and they go to the back of the store and grab the pole that's used to grab stuff off of the top shelf, and they start pushing him out of the store like a goddamn pitchfork. 
They treated him like if a magician went to the 1800s. Like, they pushed him out of the store in a mob. So, I waited in the store for like 5-10 minutes for everybody to finish up so I can buy my things. Then they get back in. We all start talking about what happened. And turns out, he tries to steal a fidget spinner. Who in their right mind still uses those? And on top of that, tries to steal them from a 99 cent store. Where everything is, keep in mind, 99 cents. Worst part is, he has money because he tried to buy shit. So I buy my stuff, I get out the store, and what I didn't tell you guys yet is that my neighborhood is pretty damn small. Not in terms of size, but in terms of everybody knowing each other is not that many people. I don't know everybody by name, of course, but we see the same people every day on the same streets. So when I get out the store, I see three people walk out of a pizza store, a pharmacy, and a deli to start yelling at this kid. Turns out they knew him. So this kid starts getting scolded by these three people that came out of different stores and got summoned like the fucking Avengers in Endgame. And he's just sitting there taking it. Quiet. He's about to start tearing up. But he can't say anything in return because he got caught stealing. So I look at him. He looks at me. I smile. And then start skating down the street back home. The look on his face of pure anger and, and hatred in his heart. The look of detest and disdain on his face as I skated by was one of the most satisfying feelings. And I'm not saying that because, oh, hey, hey, look at him, he's getting shit done to him, hey, funny, funny, laugh, laugh. But like at the same time, he started all this and he got caught in the act and then tried to blame them for it. Now I'm going to rephrase what I meant earlier when I said uh, he was special. He wasn't on the scale, at least by visual looks, and I'm not going to assume, I know I sound like a piece of shit right now, but he was just a very socially inept kid is what I meant. And the reason I didn't feel bad is because he knew he fucked up, but he was just too deep in, he didn't want, his pride took over at that point. But moral of the story, kids, don't steal. You, it's never going to go well, honestly. You end up fucking yourself over in the long run and fucking over people that have a actual business to run to feed their families. And it's not about the price and how big or how much you steal. It's just about the message that you're willing to steal from somebody and take from what they've gained to support yourself. It's just, it's just really fucked up and shows a lot about how people think and act. It's really scummy. Just don't steal, man. But thank you guys for sticking around to the end if you did. If you did, be sure to leave me a like, comment, and sub. It's always appreciated. As always, turn on the notice bell so you can see when I upload next. And link in the description for the Discord. Join up, send a story in the story chat, or start up a conversation in general. And uh, yeah. Have a blessed night, y'all. Oh, yeah, and send this to a friend. I'm, my goal is to hit 100 subs before the end of the summer. So, uh, yeah, good night.